Okay, the money multiplier is what we're going to be talking about. Um, we're going to give you an example first and then show you how to find the money multiplier. So, um, first, assets are what the bank has in their account. And it has to be equal to the liabilities, which is what the bank is responsible for. Now, the reserves are the deposits that the banks have received but have not loaned out. So it's the money that they have, and they have to keep that money no matter what. And usually in this example, we're going to put that all banks keep 10% of their assets. Okay. Now, loans are the amount of money that can be borrowed from that bank out of the initial deposit. So if the initial deposit was $100, which is what they're liable or responsible for, they're going to, no matter what, keep 10% of it, which would be $10 and they're going to loan out $90, okay? Now say that Fred comes over and he wants to um, borrow money from First National Bank. He's going to borrow, the, only, the amount of money they can loan out is $90. So he goes over and he puts it in his bank, which is Second National Bank. That bank has to keep 10% on reserve. So the 10% of the $90 is $9, and they can now loan out $81. They are responsible for or liable for no matter what that $90 that came into their bank. So since they're going to now say that Susie comes over and she needs to borrow money from her bank, which is Second National Bank, and the amount that they can loan out is $81. So they take that $81 and she puts it in her, in her bank, which is Third National Bank. Now they have to keep 10% of their money in reserve, which would be $8.10. They can loan out $72.90 but their total deposit and what they're liable for in the end to have is $81. Now, the, our original deposit was $100. First National Bank's lending was $90. This point nine right here comes from 100% minus the 10% reserve, so the money they can loan out is 0.9% of, of that $100, which is $90. So the second National Bank, what they can loan out is that 0.9%, which is what the amount they can loan out because that 10%, that 0.1, it was what they had to have res in reserve. So that's 0.9 times the $90 right here, which is $81. And then the same thing with the 7290 for the Third National Bank. In the end, when you total it up, the amount generated in the population or economy is $1,000. And that's the total money supply, which is the quantity of money available in the economy meaning that's the total money that's generated out of that $100 that was deposited in the first place. So in order to find the money multiplier, which is the amount of money the banking system generates with each dollar of reserve. So for the $100, they were uh, able to generate $1,000. To find that money multiplier, or what we could have just multiplied the original $100 by, is taking that $1,000 that we generated, Divide it by $100, and you get 10, which would be your money multiplier in the end. So that $100 of reserves generated equals $1,000, or $100 that we had in reserves generated $1,000. We found our multi money multiplier by dividing the two, and you got 10. So that's how you find the money multiplier.